What is up you guys? Welcome to a new vlog. It is Thursday morning now and I'm about to head out. Look at me wearing camo. I'm about to head out because I actually am going to go to the mall and do a little bit of shopping. I got a package from Shein and I'm going to be hauling that stuff, Coachella stuff, later in this vlog so stick around. But I, first of all, I'm going to show you because I'm wearing this cropped camo hoodie. I really like it. I love the sleeve length. I love the style of it. It actually has metal aglets. Does anyone remember in Phineas and Ferb when they made like that whole episode about the word aglet? So this is part of the haul, but I wanted to wear it today, so I thought I might as well show you early. I think it's so cute. I honestly thought, I'm not that much of a camo person, but I've kind of warmed up to it a little bit. I thought it was going to be a little more faded when I got it on the website, but I, I do really like it. So I'm going to wear this, and I'm wearing my dreamy leggings, which if you can tell, these ones are like too big. So they look awkwardly bunchy in the crotch and I really don't like that look, but whatever. The high today is like 77 degrees. Like what the hell? That's almost 80 degrees if you are, weren't aware of math, which is just unheard of. It's been so cold. So, but it's like cloudy. It's so random. I am just going to the mall this morning because I got stuff in the mail and I still have things in mind that I want to get for Coachella to like finish up my outfits. I'm like so close. Yeah, I just want to look for some accessories and there's one piece for my day three outfit I'm still looking for and I found something I like online but I want to try and find something in person first and then if I can't today then maybe I'll just get it online. I've just been craving like shopping alone at a mall for some reason. I don't know why. I think because I walked through the mall to go to Ulta the other day and I was like, this just sounds nice. And then I'll come back here. I have a lot of stats I have to do because I have a problem set due on Saturday. Also, I thought it'd be fun to do like Coachella shopping slash a haul. Um, so I'm gonna try and list stuff in the, well, it's this vlog, but tomorrow. Got to the mall and I'm at Forever 21 right now and I'm on the hunt for a really cute maxi skirt. Like I have an idea in mind, like I said earlier. And I found a maxi skirt online. But the one online I'm not like in love with and it's a little more than I want to spend. So I'm hoping to find a cheaper one that I can buy in person at Forever 21. But first, I got sidetracked because look at these rompers. They have this and they have these jumpsuits. These are like an exact, not exact, but a very close dupe for ones I've seen at Urban. This jumpsuit is $17 and I'm pretty sure at Urban it's like 80. But like good job Forever 21. Like finally something that doesn't say I love tacos on the boobs or something. I do really like this dusty pink romper naturally, so I think I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so I found this one. It's like very pink though, also LOL with this hoodie, but they had like next to zero maxi skirts. Apparently it's not a thing right now, but it just looks like kind of matronly. Like I was hoping it'd be like a slit down the side. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try my romper now. LOL, I didn't take off my leggings and my headphones are still around my neck, but it's pretty cute. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I'm not getting this, but if I were getting this, I might get this. But I'm so... I should move along. <laughs> and I just got a few wallflowers because all my wallflowers are empty and I kind of like to have my room smell nice. I'm going to put cinnamon spice vanilla in the wall right now because it smells real good. I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop because I need to get out of this home environment and focus. Look at all these trees blooming. What a nice thing to wake up to on a Friday morning. I'm never going to catch my breath. Say goodbye to those newbie. Okay, good morning kids, a happy Friday. This morning I'm gonna drink my lemon water, make some oatmeal for breakfast, and then fill my haul for you guys. And after I fill my haul, I really need to get down to business to do stats. Yum. Breakfast is served. What a freaking spring morning. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the things I got from Shein for my haul of things I'm going to wear at Coachella during the spring, you know. I'm pretty sure everything I got is either one size fits all or a large because things on Shein run generally small, so I always recommend sizing up, especially in bottoms. So, um, I got two bikinis, so I'll try those on first. You guys saw this yesterday and ties at the front like this. This is a popular one I've seen from these kind of websites. It's super comfy and I love the bodice, the top a lot. And the bottoms are just plain, they match. I like it. This is the other bikini I got. I really like this one. It's like black and strappy kind of. The deal with this one is that you tie it behind your neck and then it actually wraps. So you wrap it around the front here so you can like fix this however you want. It has padding though. And then you tie this part around your back. And then the bottoms aren't like tied. They just come like this. I think it's really cute, really comfy. This is pretty cheeky like the other one. Most of their swimsuits are like cheeky swimsuits. So yeah, I'm a big fan of both of the swimsuits. 
jungle print like pastel romper. I really like the back of it. If you see the like crisscross, the crisscross back is really cute and it's adjustable. So that's always nice, especially if you're short like me. It's always nice to have adjustable straps on things. And it's really comfy and it's adorable. So I would definitely recommend this one. Love it. All of these pieces that I'm showing you are going to be linked in the description below. So go find the direct link to get this or anything else I show you. This one definitely needs to be steamed because it's been in the bag and it has wrinkles on it. But it's just this like lightweight kind of pointed blazer. I don't have any sort of like white businessy attire if you're ever in a professional setting like i like to dress up for grad school classes if you have like an internship it looks professional but it's not super heavy and thick like a normal blazer it's very lightweight it's like comfortable and you don't feel restricted at all which is what i love yeah i think it'll be really cute so once it's steamed it'll look a lot better but i would recommend this it's very nice it has ruched sleeves which is interesting and something i got possibly for coachella i have not decided yet because i'm waiting on something else to come in the mail to try it with the outfit with floral embroidery this is like actually embroidered onto it it feels really nice pretty for spring to throw over any sort of you could use this as like a swimsuit cover-up if you wanted unclear if i'm gonna wear it to coachella but it would just be a nice spring piece regardless it's just so pretty and delicate like, look at me. I'm not a delicate person, but, like, I can pretend. Similar piece that I just got is another option. It's sheer, and it has, like, a white floral pattern, but it's a lot more subtle. Little bell sleeves that go just past your elbow. It's so pretty and just, like, mature looking, but not, like, old person. So we'll see which one works better, if either of them. <laughs> and this bodysuit is, like sheer on top it's just all black definitely an option for coachella but i'll show you what i'm gonna wear it with i think i was thinking maybe like distressed denim shorts but i tried them and then there's this awkward like because the all black part goes up pretty high i really like this bodysuit though it's really comfy it has adjustable straps this part is all sheer so i'm wearing just like a nude strapless bra under it it's really cute and i'll show you what i would wear over it if i wear it to coachella which this is so gorgeous this long like to the floor maxi dress it's three quarter sleeves i tried it on with the shoes i'd wear and it's like just the perfect length so i wouldn't be too worried about it I just love black lace it's very coachella to me i feel like this kind of thing is the kind of dress that you'd find for very super expensive on other places i feel like i'm a little not cool enough to pull it off but i'm gonna do it anyway and also to go with it this is on shein but it's smaller than i was hoping for so i'll show you what it looks like if you can see what I mean, I just feel like the buckles need to be bigger for this look and I wanted them closer together and the way that this is, it's a pretty small belt. Just know like this is a small belt. Either get it for your waist or if you're just like a very tiny human, like the one I ended up buying at Forever 21. I accidentally got one that's way too big, so it's freaking Goldilocks up in here. Too small, too big. Okay, so this is it at its smallest. Like, I understand it's probably just not meant for your waist. It's meant for your actual like belt line, but even for that, it's too big for me. This is the general look I'm going for. Is like this big belt on it I think looks so nice. Next, I got this romper that is really cute, but it is a little small. Like you can see the bottom of my bra with it. Like if you have boobs, it just doesn't cover them super well. It's connected, but it has this hole in the middle. So you tie this part, the top part together. It's fun. It's spring, not Coachella, just for spring, but I like it. Last thing from Shein I got with Coachella in mind is an option. And I like it, but it just doesn't fit right. It's too short. Like, honestly, this is supposed to be the bottom of the boob. And it, like, does not cover my boobs at all. It's so cute, though. I love it. Um, these shorts aren't from Shein. These are from Garage. Again, not ideal if you are, like, more of a big-chested person. Lace. This is mesh. And it has all this, like, crocheting down here. I love the bottom of it. I just wish it was longer and actually covered my boobs. But, you know such as life. If I can find a way to make it work, I might wear this to Coachella instead of the dress, but as of now, I'm leaning towards the dress, so make sure you're following me on social media to see what I end up wearing. <laughs> that is everything I got from Shein this time for my Coachella slash spring haul. Again, everything is linked below. Let me know what you think of my outfit ideas, what else I should throw in there. I want to keep some element of surprise, so I'm not showing you every single detail of my outfits. Guys, I almost forgot the last thing I got from Shein is this backpack. I actually got an accessory for once. Little leather backpack. You can zip up the straps to have it like one shoulder. There's a zipper on the back, but I like this because of the size, it's smaller and like collapses flat. This pocket in the front and in here is this big pocket where it fits more than I thought it would, honestly. Like I fit my Kindle, my camera, wallet, you can fit a water bottle, three piece set. So it comes with this little card holder thing. 
a little wristlet. So I think I might use this at Coachella. We'll see. Because um, it holds a lot without being too bulky. I don't know. I'm a fan of it. So this is also linked below with everything else, obviously. <laughs> Outfit of the night, Friday night. I kind of just randomly felt like grabbing my camera. This bralette, I always get questions about Victoria's Secret, like a couple years ago. This crop top is quite cropped, but it's from Honey Bum, the camera. It has thumb holes. Anytime she wonders who I'm talking to, it's always the camera. Wait, are you changing? The blue shirt, a classic. Anyway, yeah, the top is from Honey Bum. It has a thumb hole. Um, it's like this blue camo. It looks like gray slash, I don't know, green. Topshop jeans and H&M booties. Who knows what iTunes is gonna play next or YouTube or whatever it is. The songs are based on your recently played songs. So if it's a bad song, it's your fault. Oh, I thought that the words. So me that I'm not enough. She left me with a broken heart. She told me that twice it's all my fault. I thought it was 21 Pilots for the second. Is this Demi? Oh yeah. Guys, Tyler went to a Demi Lovato concert last weekend, so she's a mega fan now. I was already like, I love the entire album. The best one. Gotcha. It's a great song. I love it. Anyway, I'm not gonna continue vlogging. I just felt like showing you my outfit because I'm wearing my Henny Bum top, but. If you want to see what we're up to on the weekends, definitely follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. Hello guys, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, well, it's not morning anymore. It's early afternoon, but it's the first time I'm picking up my camera, so I think I vlogged a little bit last night before we went out. I haven't vlogged that in a while, but I'm interested to see what that footage is like. <laughs> I'm Mr. Brightside. So sunny, look at the flowers outside my window, but I'm stuck inside until I finish this stats problem set that is due tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna vlog anything else today because I just wanna get this done. Hopefully I can get it done before the daylight is gone and I can like go outside and enjoy the weather. To end off this vlog, I know it was like mostly the haul and everything, I have a very exciting announcement. This is kind of like a big deal to me that probably wouldn't be to other people, but I've been thinking about this for a while and I've gotten a lot of requests and comments, people asking me about it. I decided to make a fitness Instagram account. I made it, it's done, it happened. I posted a picture on it. I posted a bunch of stories yesterday. So I'm really excited about it. I was just, I'm so hesitant because like, I guess I like am very vulnerable and put everything out on the table in these vlogs, but I just feel like Instagram is like, where all the people I know in real life are, like all my friends, all my like acquaintances from high school, college, like everywhere, like everyone follows me on that. So I've never really wanted to post like fitnessy stuff on there because I feel like awkward about it. And I've never wanted to make another account because I just feel like they're gonna find it. And like, honestly, I just finally was like, okay, who cares? I just wanna be able to post what I want and I'm gonna be posting so much more on there than I do on my main account. Just thinking about it, like posting stories yesterday, I posted like my whole Stairmaster circuit. I made a like um, highlight out of it. So it's on my page so you can watch it even if you're 24 hours after I posted it. Fitness Instagram handle is just Christy Vetter Fit. I'll have the link to it in the description box. So go follow it, please. I only just tweeted it. I didn't even like post it on my normal Instagram or anything. I don't know if I'm going to. I figured I just want like people who watch my vlogs to follow it, you know? Maybe eventually I'll post about it on my normal Instagram, but it's Christy Better Fit, as you can see. So I have this like side by side um, between 2013 and 2018, and I posted this whole long caption. So and people are leaving me the sweetest comments, and it makes me so happy. So all of these people, shout out, you're amazing, Illy all. But yeah, right now it has 660 followers. So let's see how many we can get when this vlog goes up. So here it is. Here's my story from yesterday. This is like my first thing I posted at Whole Foods. I'll be posting just like new things I'm trying, recipes, you know, gym selfies, progress pictures. And this is my workout that I put as a highlight, which I've showed it in vlogs like a long time ago, but 
I thought it would be nice to have like a point of reference for you guys. My going out drink that people always ask me about. <laughs> yeah, make sure to go follow it, leave me a comment, leave me some love, whatever. I'm really, really bad at keeping up with my DMs on my like main Instagram account. I get a lot of DMs, a lot of like spam. Sometimes like they come through to my normal messages, but sometimes they get filtered out and like if I'm not following you, then they get sent to request, but sometimes they, I still get them even if I'm not following you. And so I forget to check those and I just like get so many DMs that I haven't been able to respond to on Instagram. So I'm sorry about that if you sent me a DM on my main account in the past and I haven't responded. DMs are just kind of like a mess and not a good way to reach me. So if you want to reach me, then you can either tweet me, I'm very responsive on Twitter, or I'm going to actually make an effort to like keep up with all my DMs on my fitness account. Like, I'm gonna try in my best to keep up with them, but we'll see. I'm just so, so selective of what I post on my main Instagram. So I'm excited to like have this one where I'm just gonna be like real and raw and post whatever the hell I want and not care about it, like not filter it. Like I said earlier in this vlog, all the links to the Shein clothes I tried on will be in the description as well. Yeah, I upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So make sure you stick around and press subscribe. Please subscribe. Love you all, thanks for watching, bye. Oh,